What is up guys, Sneaky Mode here, welcome back to the world of Minecraft. Now I'm going to have to explain something here. As I'm filming this episode, I've actually filmed, you know this is the one hour long special, and I've filmed this after filming two previous episodes. So, or maybe three episodes, I'm not sure, but this is going to be weird. So what's going to happen is in this hour long special, I'm going to try and stay away from the main spawn area over that hill uh, as to not reveal anything that I've done in the previous episode. Then when we go back, it's going to all come back to normal. So this episode I actually spotted, um, un unintentionally I was walking over here, you know, you'll see at the end, in the, in the future, um, you will see at the end of some episode, I don't really know, I'm going to have to re-render a lot of episodes and stuff, So, but at the end of um, a future episode, you'll actually see me come over here and spot something, then you know, like the ground, the world didn't, didn't generate, and uh, I've seen a glimpse of something that I think may or may not be a stronghold, so we're going to go and check it out, I guess that'll be the, this, this episode's purpose, is hunting for a stronghold, or at least whatever that was that I found under the ground there, and I'm going to try and stay away from spawn as I said, so a lot of this is going to be spent over here trying to dig down and then you know maybe going exploring or something I don't know but I'm gonna go and try and find out what the hell it was I saw if anything it may be maybe, maybe nothing but I have a weird feeling that it may actually be something even if it's an abandoned mine that's much better than finding nothing you know so let's take our take a chance and um, unfortunately I don't have a lot of torches I may have to go back up quickly and get some trees I'm hoping I hit something soon though. I can't remember exactly where I've seen it, but it's round about... Oh! Looks like it may have just been an abandoned mine then. Oh ho ho! Okay, I'm gonna go back up and just collect a few more pieces. Well, actually no, there's wood down there, isn't there? Well, we don't need to worry about that. Let me just quickly fix this. It really bugs me when the roof is like immediately above you. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time here working on vanity for no apparent reason. My microphone is like not positioned right. Can't really see the screen, or couldn't until I th adjusted it. So anyway, let's, I don't have a. Uh, you know what? Probably gonna have to deal with the stone pickaxe for a while. Keep this one for valuables. So where's that creeper at? He needs to get dead. Then hopefully there's nothing around here. It's gonna ruin my day. Should probably make this a bit more accessible. Oops. Oh, snap! <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. Let's light this up. Don't ruin my day. Don't ruin my day! Okay. We're good. We are good. Let's just block this off quickly while I try and make this a bit more accessible. I need to like readjust myself. I'm not sure why my microphone's all of a sudden in my way. Usually it isn't. Should be good now. Oh, I forgot to put my torch there. Let's get rid of this quickly. I don't need the fences, but I figured I'd make this bit area a little more clear so that I know my way out. Uh, if you actually watched one of the Enderman videos, I actually explored. What in the. Whoa! You can actually. Let's just not let him out of there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here quickly. Yeah, if you watch one of the Enderman videos, you'll actually have seen that I explored an abandoned. Oh, he's over there. There must be a spawner or something nearby. Well, I guess that's the way to do it. Ah, whoa! That is really cool. Oh, you can stay behind, my friend. You don't need to worry about me. That's pretty cool, finding one of those so close. Seriously. Oh, my food. Jesus, I'm not even paying attention to that. Again, I do apologise for that. I'm not the most observant player in the world right now, for some reason. Let's turn these into torches, because I really need those. So let me let's light this place up a little bit. 
before we go on and adventure forth. I guess I'll. I should make a really need to make like a uh, an axe or something. Oops! Don't want to use my sword for that. Should I make an axe since I, I kind of want to collect all this wood here? Whatever. Okay, I want to go and try and tackle that dungeon. There's a creep with it. Whoa, guys! Whoa! Okay, okay. Okay, okay! No, no, no! There's another creeper that... That's the most creepers I've seen in, like, such a short time. Well, not, not really, but... Hoppa! Those guys are fighting, that's okay, they can do their own thing. Hey, hey, hey that's how you do it. That's how sneaky motor rolls. Son! Oh! Let's just block that off for now. Cause that was... That was crazy. Hey, look, cocoa beans! These can actually be used for something you will see in a future episode, so I'm going to have to keep that hidden from you right now. I don't know what, why it's useful, I mean. Actually, you know what, I think I should like drop all the valuables I've got here, or just drop some stuff off so that if I do die on this journey that I won't be too screwed over. Coal, and I'll use... One, two, three, four. Okay. Bear with me, just going to turn these into torches. the food on me. And yeah, I think that's good. Could actually make another iron sword if I need one in the future, but right now I'm gonna make this a little kind of base of operations so that I just just in case I need it. You know? Oh I should make this a bit more accessible. I'll do. I guess. Oh, it's not. It's whatever. Ah oh well, if we need to get out, we'll work on it. It's not a big deal right now. Let's go down here. Just to light it up, even if there's nothing there. You know, <laughs> may as well keep the place safe. And I'll get this, um, this cobblestone on the way out. I really like mossy stone. If this turns out to be another dungeon, because it seems like there's a lot of skeletons again. Let's think of this smartly. Okay, light this up. We'll just do it section by section and then I may... Hey, look at that. I may block off areas that I've been to so that I don't get lost. It's one of my major pitfalls in this game is getting lost very, very easily. I'll get all this stuff on the way back. I see a chest. This is good. Let's get blocked off just now. Whatever, let's check this out. Come on. Oh, nice. Pumpkin seeds. Coal and an iron pick. Awesome. Just what we needed. So I will collect this. And head this way. Oh my god, that was close. Let me see if I can kill this guy and find out if that's just one zombie or more than one. Or at least take this away. So I'd like to find another dungeon, that would be... Sweet! I guess I could make this into a stair... stairway. A zombie would get out of the way. Go on, there we go. Let's make this safe! Oh god, please go! There we go. <laughs> okay. Hmm... Let's block this off. Like I said, I'm going to do them all in sections, so... Yeah, let's just go for this. Looks like these may link up with... Yep, there's the... Yep. Okay. Hey, zombie. 
There's another one of these rooms, if you watch the Enderman, but in fact it may have not even been uploaded yet, I think it will, will have been, but in one of the Enderman episodes I actually came across like a little weird square room. Uh, I'm going to start, okay, you know what, let's, let's just go this way. I don't want to get too lost, you know, I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to get back without ever worrying too much. Anything of interest? Nope. And as long as nothing can spawn, it's not an issue. Whoa! Holy crap, I've never seen like a two wide. Well, that's new. Let's get a screenshot of that. <laughs> I like taking screenshots, I don't know why, but anyway, that guy looks like he's kind of annoyed. No, I'm. <gasps> You're joking, I was stuck in that there. This is why I need a bone arrow. I think actually if I tackle that spider <laughs> battle mode ah is that outside I can see is that what what is going on let me This whoa! Didn't realise I'd run out of weapon or either. Just gonna have to fish this one. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. Let's try and jump. Go. Okay, it's not. I thought I could see snow for some reason. Anyway, I'm gonna head back, make a sword, then come all the way back here and explore this because this place is. I've never seen a double wide hallway in one of these, and I will get all the ores, don't worry. So, I don't want to go here anymore. So, I'm going to use. I'm going to have to grab some cobblestone. I'm going to block off with. That's what I'll do. Dirt means I've yet to explore, cobble means I have to explore. So, let's go back. Should light this place up as well. Or gravel, I mean, I could get some gravel. Doesn't look like there's anything. I know this isn't the way, by the way. I'm actually. My explorer. My door of the explorer pants are like tingling right now. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Don't want to get too lost. I will put dirt here and a torch. Uh, yeah, put dirt here. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Oh, you're kidding. No, 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 God. <sighs> okay, let me, let me try and do all this without showing off too much, because I, I really don't want to. I need to get back down there quick. Ah, uh, this stuff I'm not too worried about you seeing, I just need to, just need to quickly do this. Okay, let's go. Don't want to lose all that stuff that I had. That was, I've got five minutes, but you know, that's still, that's ridiculous that happened. Oh my god. That was intense, like... I knew I was screwed. Oh, look, there's an Enderman. Oh, you big, if I had a... Wow, well, there's a spider coming in, a zombie. If I had a bow and arrow I would have took him on but I don't want to kill him right now. You please just go. Okay, that will hold him off for a bit. That was insane. I was like truly petrified there. Where the hell is this place? How could I have lost something that soon? <laughs> it's probably over here somewhere. There we go. I can remember this little body of water. Or... God, that was insane. I'm really, really surprised I didn't. No, wait. Well, I was going to say I'm surprised I didn't get killed there, but. Okay, let's try and get back there. I've, I've no idea where I was in relation to everything else, but hopefully I find it. 
Hopefully I don't run out of health as well. It's been down here, wouldn't it? And then... Ah, oh, dang it! I have no idea. Oh, there's the room. Oh, sweet. So I can hear spiders. Was it through here I went, or...? Really? Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> nice one, Sneaky. You actually managed to find your way back. Weird little douchebags. With where? Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. Well, that was crazy, wasn't it? Let's try and uh, temporarily block ourselves in here because one of them's coming. And I will uh, fix up my armor again. Um, chest, helmet. Looks like my boots are gone. Pickaxe. Food. <sighs> Should not have been so overly eager. But at least I got everything back. I mean, that's one good thing. This little douchebag at. You, you little douchebag. Get, get the hell out of here. Please don't die. Okay, this is getting blocked up. <laughs> okay. So let's actually go back and quickly just re whatever. It wasn't this way, was it? Let's just cobble that up. I actually need a lot more cobblestone so that I can continue to do that. So let's collect some quickly just now. That was really scary, more so that I almost lost everything. Not so much that I was like actually scared of the spiders, it was just the fact that it came at me and I had no weapon. Was this was the worst part. Anyway, let's go back. I honestly don't know where I'm going. Oh, that's back to the double thing, okay. So we are going back this way. I guess. Actually, I doubt this is the way, but... If we can find a shortcut, that would be awesome. If I could block this off, it would be awesome as well. Wow, zombies won't cross a puddle of water, okay. Okay, I'm just going off in a whole other direction that I don't want to be going just now, so I'm going to... dart you off. Okay, this is... <laughs> It's this part here that's really confused me. I'm going to use my sword quickly. I just want to get rid of this so that I can focus a bit more when I'm coming through here. It's really confusing when there's four pillars of wood. Oh, come on. And done. I should probably light this place up as well. Something. Ah. <sighs> Okay, let's find my way back home. So it has to have been this way I came in then. Which means... Maybe... Did I just block off my way home? Yes, I did. 
So again, this has confused me now. I wish I had a, an axe. I've seen an axe when I was up at the base, but I didn't think of getting one. Ah, oh, it takes too long. But that will do. What? How does... So to go back I go... What? I need to like... I was going to say I need something to put down so I know my way back. Whatever. Hey, iron. Okay, anyway. I'm getting sidetracked. Let me go back up here. Collect all this iron. This place is ridiculous. I, th I feel like I'm going to be here for a while. Which I don't know if it's a good or bad thing in terms of this episode. This hour long special. I mean, I'll try not to stay in here for the whole time, but it just looks like there's so much to do compared to most other abandoned mine shafts. You know, there's like a there's like a dungeon and a spider spawner and blah blah blah. But most importantly, all this iron. Right. You there. Uh, cobblestone. And that should be... Good. Now let's go back. Basically I just want to go back to that spider spawner. I'm not really worried about anything else right now. I can hear sp lots of zombies, but I don't know if that's going to be a spawner or or not. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. Who knows? I just get this and then head over to that thing. I'm going to kill every single one of them. <laughs> Probably not. Holy! Oh, never mind. So many of them. Oh no, a zombie wants to join the party, okay. No! <gasps> no, 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 no! Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> okay, I need to need to just sit here and let myself heal up a little bit. Hey, why don't I put my put my boots back on? God, there's so many of them. Oh, I'm only level one now. I died. Forgot about that. Forgot that was even a thing. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, let's um, head this way. Hey! Little chest for us to explore. Some iron. Let's check what we've got here. Food, that's always good. Iron, redstone, coal here. Hmm. 
Oh my god, I nearly fell down there. <laughs> That'll do. I don't even have any sticks to make. Whatever. Torches. Now I'm just kind of looking around. Hi -o! A ravine. I've still not found a stronghold. That's really weird. Don't know why I haven't found one yet. Whatever. Just gonna be a smart guy and block this thing off. Since it only leads to a ravine. Okay. Oh god, no! Don't ever jump at me like that again, please. I don't know if it's just I'm getting better. Oh, there's a creeper. Don't know if I'm just getting better or zombies are getting or skeletons rather are getting worse, but I. I think they suddenly seem easier to fight, even though they now take one more hit in 1.9 pre-release 3. Or at least, I guess, 1.9 you could say now, since it's... For all intents and purposes, what the game's going to be like. Hmm. That actually looks familiar. I think that leads up to the... Double, double wide hallway, which I do want to explore. After I collect this iron. Lots of iron. So I started playing uh, Rage recently. And uh, of course I put up that video asking if people wanted a let's play of it. And I think I'm going to go through with it. I think I'm going to eventually get round to doing it. Uh, when I get my new PC of course. I mean I can run it just fine on my current PC. But only just fine. I can't run it well enough to record and play. So I'm probably gonna have to wait until I get my new PC, which is cool, it's fine. It's not really an issue. I realise it's dark as well by the way, I'm I don't have any many torches left, so you're gonna have to bear with me. You should still be able to see though. And thankfully I can still see all this iron. <laughs> if it is too dark in the video though when I get to editing I'll brighten it up a bit. But it shouldn't be too bad with the new brightness slider, so yeah, kind of adds a bit more intensity to the situation. Let's just get him in a corner. There you go. Two hits and a jump hit. You should be good. If torches would just emit light as you use them, that would be cool as well. I mean, why that isn't already a feature, I don't really know. I seen the iron below me as well, by the way, and I seen iron back the way. I just forgot to collect it. Oops. What is the point in that? <gasps> I see light. I think that may be that ravine. If it is, then I guess we'll go there. Oh, it's lava and there's a pig and there's outside life. Wow. It does look like the, the ravine though, so let it does. Let's go up here, right? What I'm going to do is grab some some wood make, some torches, and then we'll head back down, check out that double hallway thing. Which I've never seen before and um, it's probably, you know, it's the typical feature of abandoned mines, I just haven't explored enough. Or whatever, but I need some more torches right now. Or I will be screwed! Wow, did we, have we come out? I think we come out pretty much right next to base. Anyway, that is really cool. Look at that. You can see right down into the ravine. Awesome! Let me just quickly grab some of this then. Uh, let's work out how much I need actually. I have 10 coal. 8. It should be... should be enough here, shouldn't it? Okay. I, that's all I need. I'll come back and finish that tree off soon enough. I know it bugs some people when trees are just left half half finished. But this ravine looks awesome. I mean, they always do, but 
Whatever. Let's cross back over here. This is dangerous. I will eventually go down in that ravine one, one episode. So remind me sometime and something to, to go back down there. And I will do it because I want to explore that ravine. Find out what's down there. Really want to find a ravine though? Not a ra Well, I'll just say that. I want to find a, a dungeon. Also, I don't know where I'm going anymore. Certainly not here. I think it's up. I think I'm probably skipping that part that came from over here, maybe. Nope. Dang it. Well, it must have been down here because. Yeah. Whatever, let's. Let's keep going. See if we can find our way back to that double hallway. Calling it a double hallway, I don't actually know what you'd call it really, but it was double wide, so I'm calling it a double hallway. This is where you begin to realise my pic picture memory isn't good. Not good at remembering scenes, locations. My brains is not too hot, you heard? Uh, why is this lit up? I don't remember lighting this place up. Why is it, uh, why is it like that? Okay, so, is it back here? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go back up here. My hunger is getting low. But dum 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 da dum da dum dum Oops, didn't mean to use my sword there. Come at me, bro! Wow, oh, you really didn't blow up? What a wimp. Zambies. Don't hit me. Oh, God. Oh, there's a chest. That's a good thing, I guess. Let's explore this a little bit. Yeah, whatever. See what's in the chest. More coal. More redstone. What ifs? A what ifs? Making my way downtown. Okay. Looks like more abandoned mine. I'm just having a quick look up here. I'm not going to go too far. Probably all links back up to where I was anyway, so let me just collect this iron. Iron's always good. And some back here as well, I believe. I think what I might do is go down into that ravine, set up a small camp, and then dig down more. See if we can go even deeper. Oh, whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so go down to that that um, ravine, set up a small camp slash base thing, then dig down and use act, maybe act as a, like a mine or something like that. So I need to make a, a safe way up and down, which should be fairly easy, but still challenging enough to be entertaining. No, get it. Okay. <sighs> Just having a look around now, don't really. I want to get out of here soon. But that said, I can't go back to the base. Whoa! Well, that's that's a shaft. I can't go back to the base because then I'll start showing off stuff that I don't want you to see until the episodes I filmed so that it actually makes sense kind of like there's no point in me going over and showing you things that are there that you haven't seen the purpose of them or how they were built or anything like that so you're going to have to bear with me ladies 
Well, you yeah, was I talking about? I was talking about Rage as well. The game is so good. Like, I was actually surprised how good it is. Uh, I've probably took a good seven hour chunk out of the game. But that said, I'm not even that far into it. Like, I've honestly not played tons of it. I've played probably three hours of, well, no, probably maybe two hours of actual, you know, game progression. But a lot of my time has been spent, you know, doing side missions or doing races. Um, I mean, a lot of it is based around vehicle combat and stuff, but it's not solely vehicle combat because it's, you know, it's an id tech game made by id software and it's obviously going to be oriented around shooting. But the good thing is it's also very, very good at being an RPG game and the fact that it's backed by Bethesda is really good. It just kind of shows you how how good it has got. And uh, I'm severely impressed by it. Severely, severely impressed and uh, definitely going to be making videos for it. But I actually want to get on the multiplayer as well. But I think it'll probably be way too sketchy to play multiplayer on my current rig, so I may just wait out a bit until I get my new one. I don't really know what I'm doing just now. Hope we're gonna hit something. But yeah, I think I should wait till I get my new rig before I start making multiplayer videos, because it may start getting a bit hectic since it's all vehicle. I'm mean, actually, you know what? The game so far has not let me down in any, any um. In any of its offerings except multiplayer. The multiplayer is only vehicle based combat. You know, for an id tech game, the guys, these guys have made Doom, they made Quake, they made uh, Wolfenstein, they've made all these other excellent games, all these first person shooter games, and then their next, their bit, one of their biggest games, you know, in terms of graphics and uh, story depth and all these things, like, they've put in just no no gun to gun combat, fair enough, like they don't just want to be another you know, shrug your sh shrug off kind of COD game type thing, like I don't think they'd ever do that though, I think they'd, they'd be able to make a really well rounded multiplayer game certainly not, you know, a quote unquote COD kill or something, it's going to be as good as COD, like, enough so that a lot, like more people play that than COD or anything, that never I don't think that'd ever happen really, I think the, the COD franchise has got that set down uh, it's got locked in, there's like no chance that would ever get taken down, but they certainly could make an excellent multiplayer experience. Unfortunately, they had to settle for just a, you know vehicle combat. I've not honestly, I've not played it though, so I can't I can't just sit here and judge it based on that. Okay, I've run out of pickaxe, but you know just based on the fact that they have they've always been like the kind of master of first person shooter games, you'd expect them to expand on that a little bit, and do something about it, but I guess not. Oh, I just had to get a drink there. Been talking for 38 minutes, 39 minutes straight. Now what I need to do is find my way out of here. Or should I just keep keep going even though I can't mine anything? Do I have? No I don't. So let's try and find our way out of here. I was going to see if I had any wood to uh, in order to craft something cool. Hmm. Where am I going? Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> Almost full circle, eh? Ah, I don't even have a pickaxe to get that. I've got all these parts that are unexplored. I may explore them in private or something. Uh, up here. I'm starting to memorise this thing. It's pretty. Oh, God, of course. There we go. Oh, I should probably eat something soon enough. Can't believe I'm back to level one as well. I was just thinking about that there. Okay, I'm gonna have to be very selective here. Let me just get everything and then dump all the stuff I don't want. Actually, no, I should have space. There we go. Perfect. I'll leave that stuff there. I quickly want to go over here and just have a quick look, see what's over here. There we go. Is that it? Zilch. Absolute zero. Okay, let's head back up. Now I don't know what to do. Kind of like lost for things to actually do now. Oh, 
or whatever. Because I can't go back to the base to start doing stuff because there's stuff over there I don't want you to see or know about. Maybe I'll go over, try and dump my stuff off and then we can go for a little walk. A nice stroll into the distance. I've not much loon over there really so I want to go over and find some. See if there's anything cool. It looks like there's a cave over there as well. I'm not going to go into another cave though. I feel like the last hour long special was very cave oriented as well so I don't want to bore you too much with every special being a cave run. Even though it's very easy and very very good to kill time and stuff like that. Anyway, let's try and keep everything off camera here. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll let you see that. There's some snowman turrets. There's a hint for you. Yeah. Just make sure there's nothing coming around for us. Okay, got these signs as well. Food stuff. We can dump this off. Let's temporarily dump these. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Pumpkin seeds. And building stuff. Cobblestone, I guess. What else could I put in there? Gravel, I guess. Lumber. Which would be wood supplies. Ores and valuables. Lots of iron. God, we've got so much of it now. Um, miscellaneous stuff. That's all this kind of junk. Redstone, flint. Nah, I can go in here. And that. My shovel, I will keep. The pickaxe, I will keep. Dirt. Oh, you should have seen that. Hmm, starting to get a good collection of arrows. How many flints do I have? Five. Feathers. Oops. Sticks. Let's see if I can make some arrows here. I think this is how you make them. Ah, 20 of them. Yeah, well, it's better than not having 20 of them. Wouldn't be using flint for anything else, really. I've got enough gravel as it is. Um, I was going to say I'd put the, oh, where is it? the gravel down and just dig it up and whatever, but anyway, let me grab some food stuff. Bread will do. Some meat. Meat and bread. I just want to take the chicken for a change. <laughs> chicken sandwich. Okay, let's head out. Just go for a little walk. Hopefully I don't get too far off and get lost or killed or anything. Oops. Let us sprint! I want to stay on the flat here so I can can actually keep sprinting even though sprint takes up all your energy. Oh, I forgot we've got an ice river here as well. That was ice river, not nice river. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice. Oh, this does take your hunger down really quickly though, doesn't it? Let's kill the pig. 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 Kill the cow, kill the cow. Cool. Let me just make sure I'm not getting lost here. Where's the sun at? Okay, we're heading towards the sunrise. Which means to get home, head towards the sunset. Hopefully we should be good. Kill the cow, kill the... Hey, 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 hey. Kill the chicken, kill the chicken. Okay. Kill the chicken, kill the... Okay. Kill the cow. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh my God, so many animals. Come here, you, you silly little guy. Ah, oh, I feel bad for killing the sheep. <laughs> I know that's kind of funny, you know, considering 
the fact that I'm killing all these animals. Yeah, I feel bad for killing sheep. The reason I feel bad for killing sheep is because they serve no purpose, you know, to benefit me other than wool, which doesn't, is, you know, is completely humane. So killing them otherwise for no reason feels kind of bad. Come here. I will build my level back up to 85 just by... Yeah, whatever. Oh, we got some flat grasslands. This I dig. Let's go and find an Enderman. Even though I'm not really prepared to fight them. Also, the lag spikes are coming from the fact that I am sprinting into new generated land. I really hope I don't get lost, but I've been roughly in the same path the whole way, so I should be good. Should be safe. Hmm, thought I seen an Enderman there, but it's just a... It's the black sky. Oh, there's a spider hiding in the grass. What a sneaky little... Sneaky minx, two of them. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. Look at the family, you know. I wonder if I'll find a wolf. Have yet to see one since 1.8. No. Oh, no. I've yet to see one since 1.9, I mean. No, no. Oh, I keep messing up. I've yet to see a wolf since 1.7 is what I'm trying to say. I have not seen a wolf since 1.7. Come at me, bro! Wolves. I want a wolf! Ah, oh, of course, of course. Okay. I'm running. I'm out. Leave me alone! There's a creeper coming as well. Let's just run. Run away! Oh god! No! Dang it. Oh, so I actually I finished the survival map today. As in, I made one. If you guys have seen the either the sapling video I made or Captain Sparkle's Skyblock Survival, I actually um, made something kind of reminiscent of that. Not too much, you know, it's not a complete rip-off of it. Hey, Enderman. Just when I don't have a weapon, but... I do... Oh, you son Oh, I wonder if we can get the creeper to blow up next time. <laughs> He's just like, nope. Um... Actually, I do not have the materials to make a weapon. Let's see if I... If I do find anything. I need wood. <laughs> I got his wood. No, oh, whatever. <sighs> I wonder if they despawn, like... I think they despawn outside of certain chunks, but maybe not. You know, if you're in one. Or, or something, I don't know. What you doing there, buddy? What you doing? Oh my god, just jump into my crosshairs, why don't you? Hey, look at that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm getting way too confident here. Keep that up and I will surely be screwed. Oh well, let's head back. We will leave the Enderman in peace. The indigenous Enderman. Of course we got potion brewing in Minecraft as well now that I think about it. Which if you were not familiar, actually I should eat some food here right quick. If you're not familiar with potion brewing, it's basically, it's, well of course it's what, oh, Enderman! Ooh, 
he got a sweet cheat up. Hello. Hey, ah. Whoa, whoa, where did you? He's just chilling over there, whatever. He had like a flower though, that's kinda cool. He was like, I just bring you peace and harmony, not danger. That's what I imagine Endermen would talk like if they were, if they could talk. You, you just back off, son. I'm going home to make a sword. Yeah, but I believe if Endermen could talk, they would be, they'd be so calm. They'd just be like, why do you want to harm me? I am the Enderman. I just want blocks <laughs> and a nice home. <sighs> I wonder if anyone's seen the the racism links between Minecraft, Enderman, and and racism. Uh, because uh, Notch added tall. Whoa! Oh. Notch added tall black figures who steal stuff and he also added watermelons and, and fried chicken to the game or cooked chicken uh, that's by the way that's not I just want to make clear that's not me that's making the remarks like that I'm just saying those have been joked about uh, on the reddits and things like that uh, also people keep asking why there's no roof cobblestone generator to this house um, because it's not supposed to be a house, it's, it's a fort, and not all forts have roofs, so deal with it. <laughs> There's a little farm I made as well. So we should replant these before the whatever. Food, seeds, wheat, lots of that actually. This cooked, uncooked pork. Uh, some of that. <sighs> uh, don't know what else to do now. Kind of lost for. Oh. Let me throw some of this other iron on. Huzzah! Ding. So you can see we're starting to get a lot of iron now. Like tons. To the point where we're no longer going to need any. Which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing to be honest. I can't really tell. <sighs> Oops. Ah, what to do? I wonder if I should try and hint at what's over there. Oh, can you see it in the very top corner there? Oh, can you see it? Oh, what is it? Top left corner. <laughs> what is it? You won't know until next episode. Giant mushroom. What should I do? Kind of get the feeling I want to make like a bunch of mushroom soups. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How many we need? Kind of wasteful, I guess, but at least we've always got them. Actually, it is a total waste. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. Uh, too bad. Too bad they don't stack. There we go. <laughs> that was so dumb. And you can chop down more trees. That's what I need to do. I've yet to test out those snowman turrets as well. Actually, now that I think about it. Um, hey, arrows. There actually should be a snowman somewhere around here. He's probably walked off way too far, but there was a snowman who 
somehow break, broke free. Ah, oh, why do I have to stop sprinting then? Anyway, let us chop some tree down. Because I don't have enough wood anymore. Really still should get that timber mod, I think. But some people, like well, I mentioned it before, and some people thought it was really cheap to make, to use mods like that, that just completely take away any effort in harvesting materials. But I, I don't know, I'm going to get those comments, you know, Sneaky, do what you want, don't, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like I can't just, not, I can't always just do what I want. This series isn't for me, for you, so if people don't want it, then people don't get it, you know, like, I, I don't make this for my entertainment. I mean, it's entertaining to play, but it's not for my, I don't make these videos for me to entertain myself, I make them to entertain you, so if you feel like I'm not doing, if I'm doing something that, that detracts from that, then I shouldn't be doing it, plain and simple. And I'm totally fine with that, <laughs> I don't feel like challenged or... Um, threatened or upset by these people. I'm just like I, I like getting people's feedback, and I like when people tell me what they want and don't want. It's not like it's not like I want everything to just be perfect and like I never have to make a decision and just always be like you know things are good. I like the fact that there's there's a good connection between myself and my fans, where we can discuss things and what not. Dang it. So yeah, so don't worry about it if I suddenly seem like a, or no, if I like ask something and then don't, and then you expect me to expect an answer that I, that I expect to expect. That actually makes sense, like, don't expect me to be expecting an answer that I expect, uh, and that is to expect that you say yes or no, like I don't, either way I'm good, I could do it either way, I could sit here and chop these trees down for hours and I wouldn't get bored of it, or I could install a mod and just cut out the middleman. Either way is good for me, so that's why I ask you guys. I'm usually very easy in terms of how I'm going to do things. You know, I could either, you know, do do one way or do the other, and it wouldn't really make a difference to me. So you don't need to get so defensive over me. If someone disagrees with with something, then that's completely, you know, their choice. They they are not they are allowed to to disagree by any means, you know. I also notice that in comments a lot, like, if someone says something in the comments and then I reply with me, you know, maybe I come back with some kind of witty response or I just, I question them or I say something, then a bunch of people will come in and start, like, cussing the guy out and, like, start calling him an idiot or even worse, you know, calling him horrible names. I don't appreciate that. I actually, if you see a comment with me, of me talking to someone or, or leaving a comment on someone's, someone else's comment and, like, and I seem kind of annoyed, or I seem like I'm being a bit kind of arrogant, or you know, if I'm coming off in any kind of way that would kind of have negative connotations, don't feel like you have to jump in and try and defend me. I'm, I have thicker skin than that. Like I don't, that this doesn't, this stuff doesn't really affect me anymore. Like the whole YouTube drama, like people just being trolls and people hating and things like that. That doesn't really get to me anymore. But it doesn't stop me from, it doesn't mean I can't reply and, you know, maybe put someone in their place, for lack of a better term, or, or sometimes maybe I just feel like I have something to say, even if I don't need to, or even if it doesn't directly affect my daily, you know, my day-to-day -day life, that's not the case, like, sometimes I just like responding to these people to get their reaction or try to counter troll them or anything like that, but you don't have to necessarily feel... Like you're defending me all the time. That's I don't even want that. I don't want people to to come on behalf of me and speak. That's that I don't appreciate whatsoever. I don't like people talking on my behalf. Um. So that's actually something you should sidestep completely. If you ever see me, you know, having a debate with someone in the comments or arguing with them or anything, you don't have to feel like you need to come in and make sure you've got my back because. Truth be told, and at the end of the day, we are not, like, <laughs> I don't want this to come off really cold or rude or anything, I'm, I'm not trying to be like, I'm just trying to say, like, at the end of the day, we don't know each other, most of us, like, I don't know you guys personally or anything like that, so I don't need someone to fight my fights, if that makes sense. 
I'm more than capable and more than happy to ignore these people or question them if I feel like I have to, but in the end, it's uh, it's the internet and it doesn't make a difference to me. I, yeah, so that's, that's like a whole thing. Hey, look, spider eyes. Let's put this in here and I think on that note, as the snow floats on by, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. These hour-long specials are awesome to play. Oh, it's good fun. It means I get a good long talk. You guys get as much entertainment as you wish. I don't mind if you watch 10 minutes or 40 minutes or an hour of this thing. It's completely up to you. Um, I don't even mind if you put it on and then alt it and tab out or something and just go and watch something or go and do something else. That You can enjoy my videos whatever you want. But um, all I ask is that if you leave a like or a comment, with, you know, I appreciate that in any, uh, any amount, I guess, but it's, ne it's never like a competition or it's never like a goal. I, w I don't ever say, give me 500 likes or give me a thousand likes. I just say, give me a like and, you know, however many I get, I appreciate it. I usually use it as a feedback tool, not necessarily as a tool to boost my video's potential or anything. Uh, but if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. You don't have to, by any means. Uh, you could just watch this video and leave and not do anything. That was cool too. Otherwise, my name is Sneaky Mode and I will see you next time.